my Gucci Spike Scare Rapture's Delicious Libra. Welcome to your Love Tarot reading. It's going to be for you and your person, my baby. Whatever that means to you. Situationship, relationship, bubble date, marriage, snake in the grass. Let's see. Let's see. Ooh, mm, I just snake in the grass and a card flew out. Aw, boo boo. Look, with these Uversism readings, we're assuming some kind of a rift or separation. I have the Ten of Swords here. This is a, this is a breakup. Something ended, could have ended 10 weeks, 10 days, 10 hours, 10 months ago or in the 10th month. It was a very painful breakup. Um, very painful. Maybe it was the breakup of breakups, baby. Somebody really hurt you. Somebody tried to hurt you because they were hurt too. Yeah, you know, two people still wondering, you know. Um, it's like something ended with still two people still wondering, you know, what was this? Why did it really end? You know, it's a bit of an out of control situation, two of swords. Let's see, baby. Please show me in trials what's happening for my baby Libra and their little person. Mm, somebody did a douche flute thing to you. Ooh. <laughs> Oh, Libra, I'll tell you what. You know, yesterday, was it your reading that was like all about the karma? Well, th I think this is a very, so I think there's something in the Libra readings uh, in the past few days that I feel like it's a continuation or it's the same soul tribe. I mean, it's always the same soul tribe because it's the Blue Angel soul tribe. But, you know, it's like a mm, very specific soul group here uh, working through an issue because uh, I feel like it's the same person. Somebody's getting their karma, Eight of Swords. They're a prisoner of this breakup. Somebody, you know, somebody could have ended things with you, but they feel so drawn to you. They feel, um, they feel like you put a spell on them. They can't let you go. Uh, you know, somebody walk, could have walked away from you, ended things. Somebody put put a knife in your back. Um, not one, not two, ten knives in your back. Um, there was a betrayal to this breakup. It was could have been unexpected, or words were exchanged that were really, really mean, really, really hurtful. And now they see it as the devil, the one they can't let go of, the one that they're obsessed with. Obsession, baby. And it's like, you know, on a soul level, but also on the nether regions level. Let's see what happened here in the past to make the situation. So also Libra, oh my gosh, look, all these cards coming out. You could have met, maybe you met at a bar or like at a restaurant, like first date could have been like in a, like in a merry place, or you could have just met like that, you know. Um, let's see, please show me angels. Uh, what happened in the past to make the situation. So nine of cups, you know, at a place of merriment. Uh, let's see. Um, also, Libra, if you're new to the channel, welcome to Blue Angel Love Tarot. And if you are a returning Blue Angel, thank you. I appreciate you. I love you. I see you, baby. Give mommy a kiss. Mm. Libra, I'm Scorpio Sun. I'm Scorpio Rising. I'm Scorpio several other placements. And I love my Libras because we're neighbors in the Zodiac. And we're like, we're the good neighbors, friendly neighbors. I, vi I love working with Libras. I love vibing with Libras. You always make me happy, you know? You, give, you do give me that balance. I need it because I'm Scorpio. So I'm like, you know... Rah! And then I need a Libra to like balance me out always. Mm. King of Cups. Yeah, this person, if you're questioning if this person ever loved you because of what they did, the betrayal they caused, they did love you despite this betrayal. They loved you very much. They were all, all almost drowning in love. A lot of obsessive energy today. It's interesting. This person is obsessed with you from a distance. Um, why? What did they do? But this ended very rapidly, very unexpectedly. Okay, Libra, look, and uh, take this as it resonates because at Blue Angel Love Tarot, we never assume things like cheating or things like that unless you already have the receipts. You already know this is your story because this is a general reading on the internet. I'm just saying readings and bimbo on the internet, so you know how it goes. Take things as they resonate. And I'm, not, I'm really, you know, I... Mm, I I know readers like that. I'm not talking about the internet. I just like in general. I know some tarot readers. I've encountered them in the past when I was younger. And, and you know, I was on my a spiritual journey who would always like immediately like, you know, say, oh, someone's cheating. They would like break up whole families. And, you know, nothing is set in stone and you can't always guarantee that. So especially with the general reading, be very cautious who you listen to when someone's saying someone's cheating when you're not aware of that. If it's not your gut feeling, if you don't have the receipts, you know, don't assume that that's what's happening. But I do see... A, I do see cheating, or at least someone who was flighty or flirty with other people. Uh, king of uh, King of Wands, King of Cups. So there's like you know, Queen. Anyone between genders arbitrary, but it is someone who had a dual, almost like dual personality with you. They really regret what they did, though. They're they're a prisoner of their guilt right now. Someone cheated on you. It could have been a betrayal. You know, if it's not, if you don't, not aware they cheated. Could have been a betrayal just by you know like 
picking up other people, but it was something to do with sensuality, sexuality, and attractiveness. So it could have been someone who flirted or who, uh, you know, uh, engaged in like an emotional affair or something like that. This is the story that's coming up. And they're a prisoner of the guilt that they feel for what they did. Maybe somebody tried to make you jealous on purpose because they were playing a game and it backfired because Libra came in with the justice energy because that's what you are. You're like Lady Justice, um, Lord Justice, boo-boo. You know, anyone between justice coming in, you're like, you don't play those games with me. Stop it. And this person really regrets it. Something ended very rapidly. So, you know, maybe this person ended things because they wanted, you know, they wanted to sow their, their wild oats as well. Maybe somebody ended uh, an established connection because they were having an affair. Uh, or, you know, you could have told them to leave because of that. But it was, uh, the news would have been very unexpected. And I think they did say mean things to you when they got caught. You know, maybe you caught them or something like that. Um, but I feel like this person caused the breakup regardless. You know, if they didn't walk away from you, they caused it. If it was a less established connection, baby. If it was a, you know, bimbo, himbo, anyone in between, between you met on Tinder on a Tuesday, it was somebody who was keeping their options open and you didn't like that. For some of you, it's someone who was married and didn't tell you and it came out or they were in a relationship and it came out turned out they were like trying to make you the side chick side alien side boo boo you know side boy anyone in between they're trying to make you the side boo boo and you found out and this ended this person before they um before this stopped you know before this was cut off they said something mean or they behaved in a mean way it, it felt like a betrayal even it was super new uh, could have ghosted you uh, because they knew you were about to find something out. So if, you, if this is resonating for you, somebody ghosted you unexpectedly, mm -hmm. it was that. You know, this person had a dual character. They were like two people, Jekyll and Hyde, you know. Uh, they could have had like unresolved anger issues too. Somebody could have been quite angry with you. Um, you know, if you ever called them out, maybe they responded with anger, stuff like that. It's not the best energy. But in a weird way, they're just like stuck to you like glue, but Bill, you know. They're stuck to you like a googly eye you sat on and you can't, you know, quite, you're like... <laughs> Where's the googly eye? <laughs> Set on a bunch of googly eyes, still walking with them on my butt, you know? Um, look, it's up to you. You know, if you love this person, their intentions right now are to um, level up the game in some kind of a way. You know, three of wands, they want to make some kind of a move. They want to make, you know, uh, they want to, you, you know... The they, they want to live up to the expectations of what, uh, uh, you know, they want to be a man, a woman, anyone between, you know, they want, they want to do the right thing. But what is that, you know, what does that even mean? They're really guilt ridden. They worry. Um, they think about you. They, you know, but it's, it's a lot of sadness. If somebody left you for another person, they're really regretting it. That did not work out for them. That did not work out for them at all. So that's their karma. Uh, and they're stuck to you. You're not necessarily stuck to them at all. Libra, but they're stuck to you. They're feeling the remorse, you know, no matter how much time has elapsed, this person is always going to think about you till their dying day. The Ace of Swords, some kind of communication is coming through. It might be unexpected and it might be quite, mm, I want to say the word electric, but like not electrifying, more like an electric shock. It could be quite shocking uh, what they have to say. Let's see what they have to say, baby. Yeah. Page of Wands, wow, this is so drama. I don't know, Libra. I, I really don't invite these energies into the readings because I, I want to give you, you know, the most spiritually, um, you know, the most spiritually involved possible reading. But, babe, Libra, be careful. If you have, you know, like a spouse, you're like an ex who you were with for a long time, they were causing you a lot of trouble and cheating. This person, number one, is obsessed with you, can't let it go, is still thinking about you. They want to communicate. They'd like to return to you, but also that you might be receiving communication from them or somebody else regarding them having legitimate children. Or somebody hid that from you. If it was a new connection, they pretended to be single, childless, they actually have kids in a different situation that's coming out oh my god this is kind of this is the kind of you know it's kind of soap opera drama <laughs> mm, but, but I'm so sorry but they want to come home because they love you more this is the thing maybe they left you for somebody they had a baby with them or something and it didn't work out this is a messy situation something about a child is going to come out they also want to start again you know but it's a very immature energy they're going to like it's going to be like an electric shock somebody's going to come out of the woodwork um give you a bunch of confessions about what they've been up to, including babies, and then they're going to be like, I still want to come home. 
Libra, because I'm tortured by not having you in my life. Oh, Libra, I'm so sorry, Bibi. Let's see if there's uh, a message from the angels that's uplifting. You know, the devil is, look, with the devil, you've probably moved on anyway. It's just good to know what's going on with the situation. If it's a fresh breakup, fresh separation, you know, I mean, whether it's fresh or not fresh, somebody's coming in soon. This is like within like a week or two. I don't think it's going to take much longer. Aces of swords is like, meh immediate energy and it will be like out of a blue it's like you know this energy is it's given me like you put a fork in in the you know in the electric socket and that's what's going to happen like that's how interacting with with this person is a little bit like that that's how how they um, you know exist in the world the cosmic potential flows through you evolve yeah so you know i feel like the angels your star star guardians are telling you you know maybe it's time to move on from this energy maybe you need to hear that one last bit of uh you know shocking news about this person so you can move on with more more of a peace of mind but know this this person regrets deeply um, ending the connection they regret deeply what they did they if they cheated they wish they never done that if they flirted with other people to make you jealous they m made you feel like an option and to make you jealous, to make you more pliable to their games, they profoundly regret it and they're never going to forgive themselves. But they're also in a whole bunch of trouble. If it's not, um, you know, if it was a super new connection, you know, that baby, just, you know, remember like whatever this baby is, it used to be a secret and now it's all coming out. So uh, this is what I have for you today, Libra. I'm so sorry that this is so drama. You know, maybe mm, I'm sure the next one will be more spiritual, but mm, there you go. Let me know in the comments below if this is your story. Also, if you vibe with my channel and you enjoy my my readings why not subscribe turn on the notification button and of course i like the video because liking the video really helps me out as a small creator on youtube and if you like to get a personal reading with me all the information is in the description box below we're also doing a live i'm doing a live tomorrow pst at noon pst 3 p.m uh, eastern time we're gonna have some fun we're gonna talk about love valentine's valentine's day special uh, i might be taking either super chat questions or paypal questions but i'm going to let you know in the pinned comment below how that's gonna work and yeah we're just gonna do some tarot we're gonna, gonna do some vibe in and we're gonna do some loving on each other baby because i know not everybody loves valentine's day but that's gonna be our little valentine's party so come to the party boo boo come to say hi um yeah libra thanks uh, so much for spending your time with me i'll see you next time stay sparkly stay gorgeous stay moisturized and may the angels protect you one more boo boo